Welcome to the Flash Finds Podcast, the world's fastest podcast where we explore how Facebook can help you with the stuff you're into. I'm Emma Rogue, joined by Nathan the Cat Lady, a Facebook creator. So Nathan, if you're into pets, what kind of stuff can you find on Facebook? Well, I make reels about useful tips for pet owners. For instance, cats don't like still water, so all of my cats have cat fountains. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. What a great episode. See you next time on the Flash Finds Podcast, all about discovering the stuff on Facebook you care about. Bye. Have you ever wondered what it's like to bite into nerds' gummy clusters? They're fruity. They're tangy. They're gummy. And they're crunchy. Nerds Gummy Clusters, a union of fruity sweet gummy and tangy crunchy nerds. Unleash your senses. Shop now at nerdscandy.com. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the TMOS Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I don't know if you guys have seen one of my latest videos on my main channel where I'm talking about the next Assassin's Creed video game, um, Assassin's Creed Shadows. Um, yeah, I made a video talking about that game. And believe it or not, the people that were hating on this game, like, all across the internet has found that video. And, oh my god, they are trying to do everything in their power on defending the hate and the negative, uh, cr like, criticism towards this game. And it, it trips me out because it's like, fam, it's a video game. And for one, the video game hasn't even came out yet. Even, my thing is, is this, even if it's not based off of or even if okay so yeah let's say ubisoft they're coming out with this game and they're basing it off of the first black Sam samurai whatever his backstory is whatever his whole story um is and things yeah that's that man's story that is that man's life i'm pretty sure ain't nobody time traveling hundreds of years ago to go see what he was really doing and i'm pretty sure ubisoft ain't got no technology to do that so my thing is is this if they're coming out with a video game right and it's supposed to be based off of this guy. It's a vi the thing is, is this. It's a vi for one. It's already gonna be inaccurate because it's like who knows what that man was really doing. Who knows what was going on back then. So Ubisoft is just honestly going based off of what they know. Or even if it's not that, it's like they're just coming up with their own story. When has th I'm no? The, I feel like the proper question is how many times has this been done in entertainment history? When they're making biblical movies, do you think that movie is 100% accurate? When they're making movies based off of, okay, Bonnie and Clyde, do you think that movie is 100% accurate? See, that's one thing that I can say is that when I watch movies like that, and I'm like, oh, okay, so it seems like they got this part down, they did this, they did that. But one thing that I pay attention to, I don't really tell that to nobody, is like, did they really have this conversation? Like, if I'm watching The Passion of the Christ or something, right? And I'm all like, did they really have this conversation? Like, was this was this really being said? Like, or are they just improvising? Or is that that was just written on the script and things? Because I that's the thing where it's like you can't know what was being said or done. Like, all right, and I feel like another movie prime example is uh Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. You know, something not of a modern time, but a little like fast forward. Well, no, because that happened. I think that did happen before Bonnie and Clyde. But anyways, regardless though, I'm pretty sure you guys understand my point. That nothing that's supposed to be based on a true story is never really accurate. There's literal websites that tells you this. In one movie I remember where where it, there were so many, you even had people that were being portrayed in the movie where they actually came out and said stuff like that never happened for an, or the one movie, um, in particular, all eyes on me, the Tupac, um, biopic, there was a scene in there where, um, they made it seem like that Tupac had brought Jada Pinkett Smith to this lake. He read her this poem and then, uh, yeah, he went on his, um, way and stuff. Jada Pinkett Smith, she came out and said, he ain't never read me no poem. Then there was another time where I guess like, yeah, where I guess, yeah, Tupac was acting out, whatever. And so in the movie, he's acting out. Jada Pinkin Smith, she uh, approaches him talking about, you need to calm down, relax. She said that um scene never really happened. She's, I think she said she never, she was even um in that city or state, wherever it took place in. She said some along those lines, like she was even there pretty much. 
So that's why I'm like, okay, you know what? My thing is this. As long as the movie, the TV show, the video game, whatever it is, as long as it is entertaining, that's all that matters. That is all that matters. So, and I, I, I genuinely believe, okay, that because the thing is this. They could come out with 100 million different Assassin's Creed games. And I feel like that they have done came out with a lot of different Assassin's Creed games. And I don't think, I wonder if they ever had an Assassin's Creed game where it portrayed a black character. Um, has Assassin, wait, Assassin, wait, that's not, okay, there we go. Assassin's Creed have any black characters you can, wait, can play as. Searching generated. Yes, the upcoming. So this is the, this is the only one. This is the only Assassin's Creed game where it features a black character that you can play as. Why all of a sudden? And the thing is this. This can overall be the best Assassin's Creed. Like, this could be the one game where Ubisoft is like, hey, you know what? We really got to sit down and we really got to focus on this game. Unless you guys are criticizing Ubisoft, like how they go about their video games, then okay. But if you're criticizing the fact that it's about uh, some black samurai, it's like, so what? Who cares? Who the who cares if he wasn't there during that time? Who cares if he wasn't the first black samurai? If he, even if he was a black samurai at all? Who cares about that stuff? People are wanting to play a good game. That's it. That is all that that's about. So people are trying to turn it into something that is not. It's like, fam, this is a video game. That's all that this is. Why is it a problem? And that's the thing where it's like, I know why it's a problem, but it's there's people in this world where they don't want to admit that. They don't want to admit that they're a racist. So they come up with every other argument that they possibly can. And I'm like, fam, if this game comes out and it's like, like not gra yeah graphically um bad gameplay bad everything about this video game is bad like it's buggy it's glitchy it's unplayable it's the worst assassin's creed game of all time then that's when we can criticize it then that's when we can talk about it but if all we're doing is criticizing this game because it's featuring a black samurai oh and it's not historically accurate ain't nothing in this world historically accurate there's probably books that we read when we were in school where a teacher graded us gave us a good great and that stuff ain't even accurate so i'm saying like i there's and i'm not gonna say that not everything in this world is accurate but there i like i feel like i should correct myself yes not there's a lot of things in this world that's going to most likely be accurate there are some things in this world where it's not accurate at all but at the end of the day if it is going to entertain us because you got people giving out the wrong information left and right. That's one of the main reasons why when I go on the internet and when I be like looking up stuff, like I try to find, I try to hold on for a second because I need to take my watch and all that stuff off because I, I ain't trying to have no distractions. But no, but it's like, I know when I go on the internet and I be looking up stuff, whether it's, um, yeah, like history things. Cause I know I was, um, working on that where I was talking on, um, like fugitive slaves. I wanted to come out with a documentary where it talked on like fugitive slaves and stuff. And I was like, okay, well, I want to make sure like I get down some accurate, like, um, hist hist like stuff that's accurate in history and things. But, um, I'm like, and that's the thing where it's like, I don't know what websites to go to. I don't know where to, cause I'm like, I don't know if what I'm writing is going to be accurate. I'll put some in there because I ain't seen it on a hundred different websites, but then there's somebody that's like related to the individual where it's all like, nah, that's not the real story. This is the real story. And so I'm like, dang, I'm just out here putting out documentaries and it ain't even accurate, you know? So it's one of those things where it's like, you could go to a way, you could go to Wikipedia. Wikipedia is inaccurate. You could go to, uh, um, an encyclopedia in a library or in a um, Barnes and Noble. Well, there's that other bookstore. There was another bookstore. Dang, man. I can't even think of it. I feel like there was another bookstore and I was like, I remember they had them, but then they ended up closing them down and things. Um, book stores. I know it, it's Barnes and Noble. No, that's not it. Dang, they didn't, like, I, man, I feel like there was another bookstore. Anyways, what, it's, it's, it's whatever. It's like, I, yeah, I just, I, <laughs> I can't remember. It's, it's been so long. By the way, it's like, yeah, people are going to go on the internet. They ain't even buying books like that. At least they'll probably buy a book from, like, um, the Apple store or something. I don't know. But anyway, or yeah, like, not the App Store, um, or Apple Store, but it's like, uh, yeah, they got, like, a bookstore thing on iPhones and stuff. But anyways, putting that aside, I ain't got all distracted and stuff, but, 
yeah it's just something where it's like you know seeing all the negative hate towards this game it's like fam i it's gonna be really funny this game comes out and then it's the like it's one of the best if not the best assassin's creed game of all time so my message to ubisoft is that if you really want to shut down these critics you gotta make this the best possible assassin's creed game of all time you gotta do something different you gotta do something out the ordinary you gotta do something where people are like going back on their word and they're like wow this game is amazing this game is the best assassin's creed game that i played in my whole life because getting on this game for any reason that people are trying to make it up to be i'm like bruh go somewhere with that you done played all these other different assassin's creed game and it's like all of a sudden now it's a problem you know and that's something and i somebody had commented down on one of my videos talking about um oh say you don't play uh um uh, Assassin's Creed games without saying it, something along those lines. And I'm thinking to myself, I played Assassin's Creed. I played pretty much every Assassin's Creed game I think that's came out. Let me just look up the uh, list of Assassin's Creed games because I've been playing them. Um, I have to say, ever since um, I think it was like two had came out for free on uh, Xbox. No, nah, I didn't want to look up two. I just wanted to look up like all the different Assassin's Creed games. I wonder if they got like a list. Okay, Assassin's Creed Wikipedia. Let's see, um, game story, film, audio board games. They don't just got, like, a thing where it just, like, shows, like, the list of games. Is this it? This might be it. I think this might be it. Okay, so I played two. I played Black Flag. I've played, which I know, I know it wasn't Unity. Was it Syndicate? It might have been Syndicate. I don't know. But anyways, Origins, I remember playing a little bit of that. I don't think I really played a whole lot of uh, um, Odyssey. I played, like, yeah, I think it was a little bit of Origins. But um, was it Mirage? I feel like there were some other ones. I have to, like, go back and play them because I'm like, I feel like even this podcast might have not be accurate. But anyways, but my thing is, is this. It's like if there is an audience where they are entertained by the idea of oh wow like this is this um assassin's creed the story sounds like it's gonna be crazy because it's like what what can they honestly say that's gonna be accurate i feel like that the little information that we know on this um black uh not assassin but um samurai it's it's not like we know this man like from the first day he was born all the way up until the day he died and if there's information about that i imagine that you be i probably gathered up as much information as they could but they're probably thinking along the lines like we're making a video game too like we gotta make a video game that's fun so it's like yeah when this game comes out when this game comes out i'm, I'm telling you if people are hating on this game and they're not even really sitting down and playing because i am going to play this game when it does come out and if it's one of those games where it's like it's just yeah it's buggy it's glitchy it's just one of these like modern day unfun games and things then yeah i ain't even gonna i'm not gonna support that game just because it's like the game is bad but it's not gonna be because of the story i'm like i look they can very well come out with a movie talking about all that stuff that they're gonna be talking about in this next assassin creed game and i think that that would be good but i'm like we are in a day and age where it's like a lot of video games do be coming out and they're not good just because developers be halfway making them so that's why ubisoft if they are hearing this and if somebody from ubisoft is hearing this fam you got to really sit down and grind with this game i mean make it put it on like the same level as like how rockstar was with red dead redemption 2 make this like your best most like beautiful video game of all time bruh but don't just halfway make it and then think, oh, people are going to support it at the end of the day. Nah, bruh. They don't work like that. So I'm saying, I'm like, I at the end of the day, I don't care what the story. I'm like, and that's the thing where it's like, they could come out with an Assassin's Creed game where it's based off of um the the first white samurai i'm like hey if the game is good i don't care who it's being based off of i just want to play myself a fun game that's it a game where it has that same effect on me like spider-man 2 that is a game where i'm like bruh that game for one visually amazing gameplay wise i have to say that was probably spider-man the new spider-man 2 is probably the best spider-man um gameplay that i've seen in like all spider-man games like miles like all them like insomniac spider-man games like from marvel spider-man marvel spider-man miles morales and then yeah even marvel spider-man 2 in my opinion the best spider-man games of all time because they focused on the gameplay they didn't give up they wasn't like on oh, no oh let's only halfway make it and stuff they really sat down and did some good things with this game 
So if uh, Ubisoft is on that same energy with this Assassin's Creed uh, Shadow game, fam, I don't see how this game is going to fail. And I think the only reason why people are saying that it's going to fail is because it's based off of uh, Black Samurai. And I'm like, bro, who cares? Who cares who it's being based off of? They can have it where it's based off of a ghost. You don't even get to see who the assassin or who the uh, samurai or whoever the uh, main character is. It's just a figment of our imagination. We just got to imagine what the guy would look like. If the game is good and it's something that can attract an audience, that's all that matters. I don't care what they got going on with the game. As long, all, all I care about is the game being good. I don't care who I'm playing as, bro. So it's something where I'm like, people... Because I've seen this way too many times. And it's funny, I think I did talk on that. Where it's like, every time when they switch up a character in a movie, TV show, video... Well, no, I haven't really seen it too many times. I've had to say, this is the first time I've seen it with a video game. With this Assassin's Creed game. But no, it's like with movies more so. Where they, uh... Or no, even, yeah, even with the TV shows. Because I remember, didn't they come out with a Teen Titan TV show? And then there was the, um, the one girl that was... I would, like, hold on for a second. Teen... Uh, Titans, what is that girl's name? Because I really don't even be watching the show like that. Starfire. And I think I remember they um they switched it to where it's it was a black woman, and then they were people, so many people were criticizing that. And I'm thinking to myself, and it's funny because it's like you know why they're criticizing it, but they don't want to come out and say because they're all like, Oh, well, I'm not a racist, but I just wish that they would have stuck to their original show. Well, what what from the original show? They did all of them scenes um the same as the original show, they did everything the same from the original what what was it that you didn't like oh well it was just a lack of and i'm like yeah it's a lack of a white character it's like man get out of here with that so <laughs> like i'm not but they did it with that they did it with the teen titan show i remember they did it with uh fantastic for the new fantastic four with um uh michael b jordan playing as the uh flame guy and stuff and then yeah then they did it with the little mermaid and i'm thinking to myself like fam at the end of the day it's like an audience that's into video games is gonna be into if they if the game is good and not one person is gonna um that actually gives assassin's creed um shadows a chance and they have fun with the game they're not gonna be like oh i, I don't like the fact that i'm playing as a black character and stuff they're not gonna say that they're gonna be playing that game because they're having fun with it and i'm liking uh people going out and seeing the little mermaid it was mostly um kids that was going to go see it right is it is young girls that is going out and seeing this movie do you honestly think they're gonna care whether or not the little mermaid unless they've uh their parents is putting putting it in their head to be racist that'll be the only reason but other than that it's like do you think if you go up to a seven-year-old girl talking about oh don't watch this um the little mermaid the new little mermaid because uh the mermaid is uh it's a black woman instead of uh, a white woman and things i'm thinking to myself like fam are mermaids real like let, let's just let's just um ask that question real quick are mermaids real no so who's going to care whether the mermaid is white, black, Hispanic, Asian, blue, purple, freaking a uh, rainbow color? It's like she it's just like she changes colors uh, every five minutes. Do you honestly think people are going to do you think a seven year old girl that has been waiting all year to go see the little mermaid? Do you honestly think she's going to care about what color the little mermaid is? All she going to care about is the visuals, how good the movie was, and if she's going to get that movie come Christmas on Blu-ray, digital, however their parents doing and stuff. But yeah, it's like people, man, come on now. Stop with that racist stuff. Y'all got to let that stuff go. Because I know people are going to be trying to come up with every argument possible. I'm like, look, if you play the game, play it. If not, go play something else, all right? Go play one of the older Assassin's Creed games. But Anyways, and I guarantee and I promise you, I, I guarantee and I promise you, if they were to come out, if Ubisoft were to come out and be like, hey, we're getting rid of the Black Samurai, oh, you're going to have it where, oh, no, the Ubisoft should definitely do that. That will honestly be the funniest troll thing ever. So, release the game, have it where you're playing as the Black Samurai and stuff, and then at some point in time, they're like, because I, I guarantee and I promise you, people are going to probably uh, give it bad ratings just because of that reason, but they'll try to come up with something else and things on saying why the game is bad. But I guarantee and I promise you, yeah, the game will probably get all these bad ratings and stuff when it comes out, and then as soon as Ubisoft says, oh, we're getting rid of the uh, Black Samurai and we're just going to have it where 
you're just playing as the uh um the female character that they also introduced into the uh um game and stuff oh yeah then people are gonna be changing their reviews all like oh yeah the game is so much better now i love it it's like there's all these different it's it's it just seems better it seems it seems just more better than what it was before and i'm like and then just out of nowhere just re-add the character just not even like tell nobody just add the character in there like quietly and stuff come out with an update talk about oh yeah we're fixing some bugs and all that stuff in the game and then just randomly just add the uh character or have it where the game is glitched where you're only playing as the character um as the black samurai character and things i think that would be funny i'm like ubisoft if you want to mess with some people please do that all right but anyways with that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening stay tuned for the next episode like subscribe if you're viewing this on youtube follow or subscribe if you're viewing this on podcast streaming service thank you guys and peace